welcome you ringside, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we're just about ready for action. The opening bell of this scheduled 12-rounder here, a much-anticipated fight. Round one underway. Tyson's proving to be elusive. Boom, left hand comes home. He is stunned, but somehow has the wherewithal to hang on. Oh, that was a smart move right there. He was hurt, but then he held on. Absolutely, Joe, but a stupid move, a bad move by the fighter who was having him hurt. He should have taken a little step back and not allowed him to grab. Solid shot, the left hand came in. He's going around now, Teddy, like his legs are made out of wet noodles. Yeah, and my mother was boiling the water because she used to make sure that that water boiled and boiled was never al dente. These legs are not al dente. Needs to improve that accuracy, missed with the headshot. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Mike Tyson's hurt. Wow, is he hurt. He was the one doing the hurt just moments ago. Well, he's been reminded about defense. He didn't want that reminder. It just came in the form of a left hook. Scored well up top. You know, there was a lot of talk in the lead up to this fight from his opponent saying, hey, I can punch too. Yeah, hey, look, I'm going to use baseball as an analogy. You have a power punch who can throw it 100 miles an hour. But you have another guy who can throw it 100 miles an hour, but he can also throw a curve. He can also hit the corners. He can also throw a changeup. Tyson can do so many more things than his opponent. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. Obviously, defense becomes so important for him now. That cut around the eye could stop this fight at any point. What should he be trying to do here defensively, Teddy? Well, obviously, it's got to be one of two things. You're either going to be moving your head or you're going to be using those legs right now. End of round one. You know, Teddy, I'm looking at that cut as he's in the corner now, and it doesn't look good at all. Do you think he thinks he has to go out there and try to end this fight? Not only does he think it, I think he's right. I think that he probably has very little time left before the referee or the doctor is going to stop this. And he needs to be thinking that way if he's not. Mike Tyson still shaking after feeling that uppercut. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Big shot there. He goes down. He has so much time now, he's going to be forced to survive. I give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Teddy, you've been in spots like this hundreds of times before. A fighter with a bad cut. What do you tell a guy? What you tell him is don't worry about that. Just do what you're supposed to do. I will take care of my job. You go out there, use your jab, move your head. Don't get any more cuts either, by the way. Tyson's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Solid left. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Move those feet. He scores with the left. Good flush shot upstairs. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Fires off the hook. Look at that. I like the way he went up top that time with the hook. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Tyson's got something to think about now. He just threw a punch and had one coming right back at him. His opponent scored well with the counter. Ten clicks of the tuck. Little head knocking with that right hand. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep checking, keep checking, keep checking. Don't stand in front of him. Here you go. 
I want you to bang the head and the body, all right? Up step, down step, over again. I wonder if those 60 seconds were enough, Teddy. He was knocked down in that last round. Now he's right back out there. That 60 seconds has been enough for fighters in his position before. The sport's been around way over 100 years. It's up to him to do the things he needs to do early on in this round. Tyson's doing a beautiful job here early on of counterpunching. Yeah, it's going to pay off for him later on. You know, we talk about body work paying off for you down the road, like investing putting money in the bank. Well, counterpunching pays off too because your opponent becomes a little tentative and then down the stretch, he's not busy enough. Let it go. Tyson's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. How about a return to sender with the left hand? He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Big, big shot comes crashing home. And he goes down again. Will he get up from this? the fight. Mike Tyson's gunned down yet another opponent. A knockout victory. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockouts, your Mike Tyson is able to come up with a shocker here. Out of nowhere, early on, a knockout victory. And does it with one shot that he never saw. Good, enjoyable, entertaining fight it was. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us. We're not good, I'm the fool because I started to be cool with him, but I got schooled.